So let us take a good look at inventory with a focus on FIFO, first in, first out. So Charles Packer sells travel suitcases and the year end is the 30th of June, 2018. Calculate the closing stock amount and then we've got quite a bit of theory to have a look at here. So 5.2.1, first in, first out method. So whatever we buy first, we must sell first. This typically works in industries that have goods that are perishable. So like the food industry, if you're running a supermarket. So we've got our opening stock amount. We've got our closing stock amount. We've got our purchases in June, especially. And we need to look at the purchases in June as well. So calculate the closing stock on the 30th of June, 2018. This is what our calculation is going to look like. So we factor in our June purchases minus the returns. So 450 minus 25. That gives us a figure of 425. And we're going to multiply that by the unit price that was given, which is that 3040. So this is going to be the first part of our calculation. The second part of our calculation, we look at our closing stock amount. So that's going to be the 496. And we subtract it from our 425. Sorry, we subtract our 425 from the 496. The order is very important. And we're going to multiply that amount by 2930. Whatever was bought first must be sold first. So these units that cost 3,040, that's already been sold. It's done now, it's finished. But what about our units from here? There's 71 of these units left. So 425 times 3,040, that is equal to 1,292,000. And 71 times 2,930 is equal to 208,030 which gives us an amount of 1,500,030. That's your final answer. Okay, be very, very careful when dealing with questions like this. 5.2.2, so Charles suspects that suitcases have been stolen, provide a calculation to support his answer. So let's just change our color. So we factor in the 420. We're gonna factor in the 3155 minus the returns amount minus the 3,050 that was sold and minus the 496 closing stock. So it's gonna be our opening stock plus our purchases minus our returns minus our sales minus our closing stock. So that's gonna be 420 plus the 3,155 minus the 25 minus 3,050 minus the 496 and we get four units. Yes, four units have been stolen. 5.2.3, let's look at bullet point one and then bullet point two. So change of color, calculate for how long his closing stock is expected to last. So we've got a stock holding period here. And with our stock holding period, it's gonna be our closing stock amount. So it's gonna be this amount over here. We're dealing with the first bullet over opening stock plus the purchases minus the returns minus closing stock. So this is our calculation. It's closing stock over opening stock plus purchases minus returns minus closing stock. Now you can use the RAND values, like you can use these big, big RAND values if you like. Alternatively, you can use the corresponding unit prices, whatever suits your fancy. And whatever we get, we multiply by 365 or we multiply by 12 uh, if we wanna calculate that value in months. We multiply by 365 to get the value in days. So this is what the calculation looks like. So it's 1,500,030. That's our closing stock amount, which was here, over our opening stock, which was 913,500, plus our purchases, that 8,460, 850, minus the returns, which was 76,000, minus the closing stock amount, which is 1,500,030. Plug that into your calculator, you multiply by 365. We want it in days here, months was fine, okay. And we get 70, to 70 comma two days. Okay, you could have multiplied it by 12 and you would have received uh, a completely different answer. Had you used units multiplied by 12, you would have gotten an answer of 1,95 months. Okay. State one problem with keeping too much stock on hand and one problem with keeping insufficient stock on hand. So one mark plus another one mark. So with keeping too much stock on hand, the stock can become obsolete or 
maybe it becomes outdated, it's redundant, we're unable to sell it. And with keeping insufficient stock on hand, it might not meet the needs of customers and they may go elsewhere to buy their products. Or simply put, there's a loss of income now because demand is greater than the supply. And because of that, they're going to go out. <laughs> they're going to go elsewhere. I wanted to end the video on like a, like a smooth high note, like elsewhere, and then just end it. But I, I guess I have to just end it like this. <laughs> Cheers.